Hey everybody, it's us, the man with Undercover Coatings. Today, I want to go over dip dissolver. I've gotten a lot of calls about dip that's too thin to take off and what's the best option. Um, a lot of questions about how to use dip dissolver correctly. So behind me, I have a roof that's been dipped uh, purposefully too thin. So check it out. Small thin pieces, try to feel it. It just breaks off, it's kind of hopeless. So today I wanted to kind of go over a good way to use dip dissolver and to get the best results from it. So stay tuned. Okay, so before we get started, I wanted to go over the product in question. Dip your car's dip dissolver. All natural ingredients. And we can go over the directions here. On the bottle it says, focus on one panel and area at a time. Spray one full wet coat in the dipped area. Let the product saturate onto dip for five full minutes. Respray the same area, applying another full wet coat. Let the product saturate another five to eight minutes. The dip should re-liquefy. Uh, test by dragging your finger through the dip and you should be able to easily clear it away, exposing the surface underneath. The original dip was extra thick. The second application may be necessary. The best way to clear the re-liquefied dip off the surface is to use a pressure washer. So that's the gist of it. Basically, you need to saturate the surface, let it sit for five minutes, and give it another go until you get the dip re-liquefied. After that, you can use a pressure washer and clean it away. So that's what we're gonna do. Right now I'll just install the cap, spray nozzle. You wanna soak down the area. And let it sit for five minutes. So I'll finish doing that and get back to you. Okay, so that was a full wet coat. As you can see in this back corner here, or front corner, the dip is fully wet with dip dissolver. That's very important. You want the dip to fully reliquify. You want to have a nice wet coat of dip dissolver on the surface. You also may notice that I'm indoors. I prefer to do this on a cool panel indoors because it gives you the best amount of working time. Let's dip dissolver do its thing. And after letting it sit, you can check a spot like right here in this corner, you should be able to completely wipe it away, which we're not quite there yet. It's soft, it's working, but it's not quite ready. So we're gonna have to do one more application and let it sit for another five minutes. Okay, this is the second application that has been done. It's been sitting for about five minutes. And as you can see now, it easily wipes away with your finger. And that's what you want on the whole surface. You want it to be fully reliquified and the entire surface to just be able to be wiped away with your finger before you start using the pressure washer. Uh, one little note too, um, this is a pretty strong smelling citrus product. So you may want to have a little mask on. It's not necessary, but just a little quick tip. And now we're gonna move outside and hit it with the pressure washer and show you that step. Okay, now that you've seen the process, I wanted to close out the video with a little recap and some things to consider. First off, five to 10 uh, minutes in between coats, you wanna do about two coats, and most importantly, you wanna test before you move on to the pressure washer. If the dip is not liquefied, it's not gonna work, so test it. Um, you may have seen the little zigzags I had in the roof in the time lapse, and that's exactly what that was. I was just testing to make sure the panel was liquefied before I moved on. Second thing to consider is your surroundings. 
You obviously don't want a dip vehicle around when you're applying it and also when you're removing it because you're going to have liquefied dip pieces flying around. So you don't want that getting stuck into somebody else's vehicle, so keep clear on that. Second thing is pressure washer. Uh, I use the 1400 PSI one. This one doesn't even have the removable tips like most do, and it works just fine. So if you have a low cost one, you're probably good to go. Uh, you can use 1800, 2000 PSI, but I wouldn't go above 2000 PSI just because it's pretty harsh on the vehicle's paint. So you wanna avoid that at all costs. You want just the dip removed, not the regular paint, obviously. Third thing to consider is your residue. You're gonna have, like I said, liquefied dip flying around. As you can see in the time lapse of me cleaning off the hood, it's gonna be a little bit messy, so just keep that in mind. That's why I had the tape and drape around the edges of the uh, roof. Um, I think that's about it. I mean, you have other options when you're removing dip that is too thin. You can obviously use thinners, but that's a lot of fumes, uh, pretty expensive as well, and very time consuming. Uh, this is really a cut and dry, easy way to remove dip, just to make it liquefied. You just have to do a little bit of planning ahead of time. Make sure you work panel by panel, because like I said, if it's not liquefied, it's not going to get removed. You're just wasting your time and money. So just work panel by panel. Uh, if you want to do exactly like I did and tape off a little panel, work it, um, and then spray it, and then move on to the next. That's, that's really the best way to do it if you're going to do a whole car. Um, all in all, it's a really great product. Uh, if you're in a bind and you really don't want to wear your fingers to the bone trying to get uh, the dip off, uh, just a really quick way to do it. So hopefully that video helps you out and you can use dip dissolver in confidence. We usually keep it in stock here at Undercover Coatings along with other dip care products such as BBP wheel cleaner, water-based tire shines, and dip coat. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, hit us up at sales at undercovercoatings.com. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course YouTube. Please like and subscribe, it's very much appreciated. Thanks.